How to create a KDP book cover in Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll be doing a quick look at how you can build your Amazon KDP book covers with Canva. So let's get into it. Now, Canva is a free to use design tool that enables you to create beautiful illustrations for free only by signing up with your email address. And Amazon KDP is Kindle Direct Publishing, which allows you to publish your own books absolutely for free. Amazon handles all of the, you know, difficult parts of publishing, such as printing, publishing, you know, all of that difficult stuff is handled by Amazon. All you have to do is upload all of your pages or your design, and that is it. So to do this, to create your KDP book cover, First off, you want to head on over to Google Chrome and just search for a KDP book cover template. Once you do that, you will have the first link, which is kdp.amazon.com slash cover dash calculator. So you just want to head on over to this link over here. From here, you will enter your book information. So how do you want your book to be printed? Let's say for us, we're doing a paperback book cover with standard color as well as white paper and then it's going to be left to right and then i have the measurements in inches then i have my interior trim size so what is going to be the size of my book let's say that i'm creating a six by nine inch book so that is going to be the interior size of my page and then let's say i have a hundred pages so once you've entered all of your information, you want to click on calculate dimensions over here and you will get all of your dimensions. So these are all the dimensions, but to make this a lot easier, simply click on download template. Never ever do a right click and save this image because this image for is for reference. You want to download your own customized template from here. Once you download that template, you will find it in a zip file. You want to click on that zip file and it will automatically extract the image in the form of PNG and PDF. So now what you want to do is you want to head on over to Canva and once you're on canva.com you want to click on custom size. Now this is very essential and important to remember. You want to change this from pixels to inches then you want to go back into your KDP book cover. Now we have the full cover. These are the measurements you want to add. The reason for this is because these measurements represent the entirety, so the back and the front. You want to make sure you're adding it like this because this is how you're going to upload the book cover design. So these are the bleeds. The bleeds are the sections that account for the sides where the paper is going to be cut. Then you have your safe area as well and the margins. Then you also have your basic front cover. So I'm going to add 12.475 as my width in Canva. And then for my height, I'm going to add 9.25. And then you just want to click on create new design. Once you've clicked on create new design, you will have your basic little section added over here. So in this section, what you want to do is you want to make sure that once your canvas is loaded, you just add your image. So the image that you just got from the Canva extractor, you want to upload that image over here. And once you've added your image over here, you just want to align it and then resize it. And it should most likely fit perfectly into your canvas so if it doesn't fit perfectly into your canvas that means that you probably had some issues with the sizing now make sure that you have your images aligned perfectly make sure you entered the correct dimensions of the full cover over here and this will fit perfectly now a lot of you might wonder what is the purpose of adding this entire image to your canva design when you're supposed to actually design your book cover now, the reason that you're adding this image is because you want to be able to work off of a area. This will give you a basic idea of where you're supposed to place all of your items. So what you want to do is just click on the image and then click on this icon over here, which is the transparency icon. And you can just make this semi-transparent so it's easier for you to navigate through. And then just click on the lock button. What the lock button allows you to do is that it just keeps this image in place and you can design on top of it. And then at the end, you can delete this image. So now we're gonna go into our design section and we can get started with multiple different designs. You can even search for book cover or Let's say I just want um, 
artistic house. So let's say I want to use this image as one of my book covers and I'm just going to place it right over here. And then I can click on see all to see similar looking images as well, but I'm just going to keep on searching. And you guys can see there are multiple different options now. I can choose to put the same image on the back as well, but I think I want to go with something a little different. So I'm going to look for maybe a plain background for the back. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to go into my element section and I'm going to take some squares and I'm going to be placing those on the back. Now, I want to also place like a black line on the center, so I'm going to leave that. And in my colors, I'm just going to select the square, and then I'm going to select colors from the image that I just added. Now, you can do this, and you can also make a gradient with this, so you can just click on over here. You have all of your animation options as well, so we don't want to animate this, but we can color it like this we have default colors and then at the bottom we have gradients so you guys can see you have multiple different gradient options as well and you can select your own colors and you can do a quick gradient by adding two blocks like this so i'm just going to add these two blocks over here and then i'm going to choose a different color that i'm going to copy and paste and now I'm also going to make this slightly skinnier choosing a different color. And then I can choose the transparency of each color that is present on top just so it has like an interesting effect. And you guys can even choose, you know, the gradient sections if you want to, uh, you know, not have any harsh lines. If you don't want any harsh lines at all, you can just go into the graphics and pick out these kinds of gradients. And then you can place this gradient over here, move it up like this, or you can even choose this gradient where you can uh, select multiple different colors. So we're going to place this like so, and I'm going to click on layer, and I'm going to click on send backward, deleting this from here, making sure, send backward like this, like so. And then I'm going to change the gradient colors to the colors that are present within the front cover. So just using these. Now I have my gradient that is similar. I can maybe add the yellowish color. But I think I want to keep the blue one like this. Yeah, I think this looks pretty nice. You can even add more gradients on top just so the color blends a little better. You can add this kind of gradient in the center just to make it uh, disperse. You know, you don't want to make it appear super harsh. So I'm going to click on send backward and then just place this over here. You can click on edit and edit the color, but I think I like this kind of lined gradient as well. So once you have your book cover ready, now you might be wondering how can I work with the spine? Now I can just do the transparency like this of my items that I've placed as my background items. And now I can see my little spine section. So now I'm going to search for lines over here, click on see all, and you can go into elements as well or graphics and you have multiple different line options. So let's say I have these three lined options and I'm just going to rotate this to 90 degrees, place this like so, or maybe something a little more creative. Let's say I want to go with these little lines. I'm just going to do a 90 degree rotation and then I'm going to place these right at the center. Then I'm going to do command C, command V, and then just reposition these. So I'm also going to flip the bottom half simply because it would align better if it's flipped. So now you guys can see it connects right at the center like so. I'm just selecting it just so it touches right at the center. Now, once I have completed all of this, I can increase the transparency to 100. And if you want to remove the original KDP image from the background, you can just select all of the items that are present on top, and then you can group them and lock them. Then once you have placed all of your images, at least when you've grouped them, you can click on layer and click on send show layers. And then you have your initial layer that you locked. You can unlock this layer from here 
and then you can just simply delete it and then it will be removed. Now, from here, I'm gonna go into my text section, click on add title, and then I can place the title of my KDP book right at the center of my first section. You can enter your copyright information. Obviously, once you've separated your sections, you have an easy idea of where what's supposed to go. So let's say I just want to add, let's say Lost Life is the title. So I just place that over here. And just to make it a little more interesting, let's go back into elements. And once we go into elements, we can add a background or we can search for cloud and just place that behind your text like so, just so it's easier for your text to be visible or place any kind of block. Once you've completed the design element, just click on share on the top right, click on download and download it as a PDF. Now, once you've downloaded it as a PDF, you can upload it into Amazon KDP and your book cover is ready. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.